like no filter I'm gonna give you a close-up first tried it it was kind of like eye-opening for me you can do one layer and then you can do another pump here and there we're on my soul sisters let me hear y'all flow sister hey sister Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Union in the house today, and I'm so happy to see you guys. Today we are starting something new, and I didn't name it yet, and I don't know if this is gonna become a series or not, but I wanted to challenge myself for 30 days. Um, this month, what I did was I used a sheet mask every single day for 30 days. Yes, I did. And I'm so proud of myself that I actually accomplished and that I did not skip even a day to do this. And for next month, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but maybe you guys can vote for me in the comments below suggesting some of the challenges that I can take. The reason why I really wanted to do this is because I really wanted to see if there is a difference if I use a sheet mask every single day. I usually use sheet masks one to two times a week, but if I do this, every single day for 30 days, would it make a drastic change compared to just using a sheet mask one or two times a week? Well, you have to stay until the very end to hear my final review because I'm gonna be showing you guys our reviews from day 10 and day 20, finally day 30, which is today. So I'm gonna give you the reviews for that. All right, so before we begin, I'm gonna share with you the products that I did use for 30 days for both day and night routine. First, it's very important what kind of sheet mask that you do choose to do this for 30 days because you don't want to be using anything that doesn't fit your skin, first of all. You don't want to use a sheet mask um, that is focusing on whitening or um, wrinkle care or anti-aging uh, every single day because they may be too rich that if you do use it every single day, they may be able to cause other breakouts or other skin concerns. So before you take on this challenge, Challenge, make sure that you choose a sheet mask that is very gentle that can be used for daily uses and number two that focuses on hydration and calming your skin all right so the product that I chose and that I used for 30 days straight is a sheet mask from Beauty of Chosen this is the Centella Asiatica calming mask and first of all I really like the fact that it was transparent I really like sheet mask that's like clear because you can kind of see uh, the material of the sheet mask as you can kind of see how much of the ample that's the goodness you know that's actually in there so it was really nice I liked the packaging and it does have one of my favorite ingredients which is such a calming agent Centella Asiatica and it has 15% which is gonna be an amazing sheet mask if you do have concerns of sensitive skin or if you want to use a sheet mask for calming and hydration as well I know that a lot of my unicorns are skincare geeks like me so you guys know this already but in Korea um, creams that is actually used after really harsh treatments or laser treatments they have the ingredient Centella Asiatica because it's such an excellent factor for not just calming but for healing and restoring your skin so that it can come back to its healthy and strong state this is a great product for you guys to try out if you are currently having breakouts and acne as well this is really helpful for calming your acne also a great sheet mask to calm irritation and sensitive skin and since I was gonna be using Using this for 30 days straight I really wanted to make sure that this is a really good product and um, that is a gentle product for my skin it's formulated with EWG green gray certified ingredients without paraben artificial scents and alcohol and it's vegan friendly as well also the sheet itself was a very important factor that I wanted to look at usually I would not care too much about the sheet if I really like the essence or ample or the formulation of the product itself even if the sheet is not as soft or you know it's not like you know my taste I would still kind of stick with it and use it however I was going to be putting this on for 30 days every single day so I wanted to make sure that the sheets were soft and that it did not like block my pores or anything so this is made out of tensil and it was super soft um, it let my skin breathe and I love the fact that around the curves here around the nose area everywhere else it's 
stuck like a sticker. It was so good. It really adhered well to my skin, which I really appreciated throughout the 30 days. So after the reviews of my day 10 and day 20, and I'm gonna share with you my final review, the final answer if you should use a sheet mask every single day, or if it's not really necessary to do that, and you do have to watch until the very end to hear my personal review, but I am so glad that I chose this one to do it for 30 days because I felt like no matter what my skin condition was in, even if it was irritated, when it was in a good condition, when it was really sensitive, when I was having breakouts, whatever condition it was in for that 30 days, um, it was super gentle on my skin and it was very, very hydrating. So this was a very smart choice for me to make. And for you to do the 30 day sheet mask challenge, it's also really important for you to choose the right type of toner as well. I think the cream is important too, what you're gonna put on afterwards, but usually anything that has ingredients to lock in the moisture is fine. Um, however, the toner itself is really important is because that's the very first product that you're gonna put on your skin and then you're gonna put on your sheet mask. So first of all, it needs to be something that gets rid of the dead skin cells or leftover gunk, sebum, or um, just you know all of the nastiness like before you put on the sheet mask so that your sheet mask the goodness can soak into your skin really well second thing is of course it needs to be something that you know fits your skin and that will work well with your skin because you're going to be using it you know every single day but within this challenge you can switch up your toners it's totally up to you because you know we do switch up our skincare routines but for this challenge i did stick with the same products i stuck with one toner and one kind of sheet mask and i'm gonna show you the toner that i used and right off the bat it does look a little bit different yeah yeah. So I know that some people are really used to bubble toners or some people love it already, but there may be some unicorns that have never seen a bubble toner before. And a bubble toner looks like a cleanser. It's in this bubble container and you've probably seen like cleansers that look like this. And the way that it comes out is so interesting. So the bubble toner that I chose for this challenge is Beauty of Chosen Pure Cloud Bubble Toner and it soaks into your skin like this. So when I first tried it, it was kind of like eye-opening for me. I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel like I need to like rinse it off or something. But as you can see, the best characteristics of a bubble toner is that it soaks into your skin so fast. This is a unique bubble type foaming toner that offers a very smooth and gentle daily exfoliation to remove all the dead skin cells with natural AHAs from sugar cane extracts. And it has this very unique texture and it's very soft and fluffy and the best part for me was that it was really fun to play with i'm not sure if it's because of the characteristics of the bubble itself but i felt like compared to using just a regular watery toner versus a bubble toner that it did remove all of the gunk off of my face much more and the reason why i knew that was because i saw more gunk on the cotton pads compared to when i would just use a regular toner and it's not like i changed the way of cleansing or it's not like i left more makeup on my skin or things like that it's just i think it was the characteristics of the bubble itself that it's smaller maybe uh, that it goes to the deeper layers and it helps to remove the gunk much better and another characteristics that i loved was that it soaks into your skin really fast so you don't even have to do a lot of pumps you can just do one two and then the whole face you can do one layer and then you can do another pump here and there and then do second or third layer but compared to other watery toners or viscous toners this one um, the bubble it just soaked into your skin so much faster and this does contain chemical exfoliating ingredients um, it does contain natural AHAs from sugar cane so I felt like compared to other AHA or BHA products it felt more gentle on my skin I personally really loved using this for both day and night routine sometimes I would just use it um, right before my um, sheet mask so I would use it once a day or twice a day and I did feel like it worked well for my sensitive skin also it it has pentanol which is an ingredient that people love in their skincare routine because it's a humectant that can attract and hold that moisture in um, yes this does contain tea tree um, eggplant extracts really good ingredients in here as well and one thing that I figured out I really love this tip but 
I love putting this in the fridge and it becomes really cold really fast. So after your shower or if you're really, really hot and you want to uh, do something to calm your skin rapidly, this is such a great thing for you to do. Just pop it in the fridge, take it out and then do boom, boom, two to three pumps and then spread it on your face like a mask. So leave it and after about like 30 seconds, it's gonna start kind of, um, the bubbles are gonna kind of start soaking into your skin and then you just soak it in. But as soon as you pop in that bubble, you feel that coolingness, you know? All right guys, so these are the two products that I used for this challenge for 30 days. Make sure that you do choose a really good toner like this one that is hydrating, but that can also help to remove that skin cells that can prep your skin so that the sheet mask itself can go on really smoothly and then make sure you use a sheet mask that focuses on calming and that focuses on hydrating your skin that even if you use it every single day that it will not irritate your skin so choose something uh with those factors and now we're gonna move on to day 10 interview Hey guys, how are ya? So today is day 10. Woo! I am so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself, first of all, that I started this and I'm doing it. Definitely, I am very, very motivated at the moment because, you know, I know that I'm actually filming this video with you guys. So the times that I felt even kind of lazy, I had to tell myself, no. I have to do this for my unicorn, so I've been very, very diligent with it. I did not skip a die. Ooh. I don't know what exactly it is. I don't know if it's like the texture of the bubbles, or I don't know if it's like the product itself, but definitely I can see more of the um, like leftover sebum, dead skin cells, impurities removed off much better compared to using other just regular toners. I don't know, maybe it's something about like the texture and the bubble. And just the fact that I'm kind of like pampering myself or using a sheet mask every single day kind of reminds me of um, to take care of myself, you know? It reminds me that I'm really taking good care of my skin. It makes me more aware of my skin throughout the day. And um, I do think about like, like really just enjoying this time at night or in the morning time when I do have my sheet mask on. So the biggest difference that I see until now day um, 10 is that my skin feels less dry for sheezy. So even when my skin gets kind of irritated at nighttime, I'm calming it down really well. So I'm like restoring it. So it speeds up the process of the soothing and the restoration. And then I go to sleep, you know, and that does wonders for my skin again. And then the days that I do use sheet mask for the daytime, I feel like my skin is more hydrated and like it's more protected. It's more armored for me to go throughout the whole day of heaters and sunlights and stress and blah, blah, blah. So yes, Ani is on day 10 and I'm so proud of myself that I did not miss a day because <laughs> I honestly thought that I would miss a day or two. But I'm so proud of myself and thank you guys so much for doing this with me. And the next time I do another challenge, I really want to do it with you guys. And maybe we can keep each other um, accountable, uh, especially through Insta stories and stuff. Like, because I do it daily and I know you guys do it daily as well. I think it really makes a big difference. For me to know that I had to film every single day and share it with you guys really like kind of dragged me to do it or um like really motivated me to do it for the days that I felt really tired and days like that I was not in the mood to sheet mask it really just gave me that push so anyways pat on the back day 10 going strong good morning everyone so now today is the 20th day that I am sheet masking every single day and I just woke up as you can tell uh, my breath is probably stinking I just had to turn on the camera to show you guys my skin because like literally I'm so obsessed with looking at my skin every time I do wake up right now because I'm so proud that it looks so good um, so this is like the like no filter I'm gonna give you a close-up just my skin looks 
amazing. The plumpness of it, the hydration, uh, hydrated f like feel of it, and and I am using a retinol product that I've added to my routine, so that could be definitely helping. Using a sheet mask every single day has been definitely helping so much. I think it's like one of the biggest things that has helped my skin to look this healthy. Um, and it did get pretty challenging at times because I was like so busy in the morning time or I was so tired at night. I was like, <gasps> I just have, I don't have any time to sheet mask. But for those days, I just kept it really simple and I wouldn't like leave it for the full 15 minutes, but I would leave it for like, you know, 10 minutes and I will take it off if I'm just too sleepy and then I'll just finish off with like an oil or with a cream and I just went to sleep. But yes, I just had to show you um, day 20 because it's been looking amazing. My skin has been feeling so much healthier and I think this is like the best thing that I picked up on. And now, even if I'm tired, now that I see a difference, I think I'm, I just do it because I already know of like how good my skin is going to be. So I think even no matter how tired I am or lazy I get, I already know it like as a fact. I've seen the difference now, so it's easier for me to just like slap it on and just put it on. So I just had to show you guys day 20. And I think the last 10 days will be really, really easy. So yeah, oh my gosh, okay. So yes. Yes, yes, yes! Here is the big question. Is it worth it to use a sheet mask every single day? And the answer is... Drum roll please. Yes! It is! It's so worth it to use it every single day. Just to be straight up with y'all, using it one to two times a week or using it three to four times a week makes a huge difference. That's what I've noticed. When I used it um, before this challenge, I used the sheet mask one or two times a week or sometimes even three, right? But when I did this consistently, when I used a sheet mask every single day, I really visibly saw such good difference for my skin. So first of all, hydration level, your skin, feels hydrated so you do feel less of the dryness because you're giving like this intensive hydration once a day no matter if it's in the daytime or nighttime your skin feels very very hydrated so your skin is less dry obviously because you're using a sheet mask every single day but you will be able to feel this difference the times that you're not using your sheet mask when you're sheet masking of course it feels good you know what i'm saying but the days or the hours that you're not sheet masking you're gonna feel like oh my skin feels Feels really hydrated and you're gonna feel less of the dryness. Second thing that I've noticed is I feel like because you are calming your skin and of course because the sheet mask that I did use had like 15% Centella Asiatica in it and maybe it's things to that but I think the main factor was me hydrating my skin every single day making sure that it was in a really good condition. I felt like acne scars or blemishes faded much faster. It's not like I used specific products to fade acne or blemishes, but I did feel like because my skin was in such a restored and healthy state all the time, I felt like those small blemishes or little acne marks that I got, it was removed much faster than before. And the last thing that I've noticed, and I think this was like my favorite part of the whole challenge itself, but my skin felt less sensitive. So I would feel sensitivity really easily. So every single night, like after I come back home from a long day with all my makeup on and things like that, every night after cleansing because I'm tired plus, you know, all the environmental stimuli or because of stress or this and that, whatever it may be, I did feel like my skin was sensitive and I felt that very often, but I felt less sensitivity. Like 
there were less days that I would feel, oh my gosh, my skin feels sensitive. So two things. I think because I was using a sheet mask every single day, my skin was being restored rapidly. So that when it was even irritated or sensitive, boom, I would use a sheet mask to calm it down, making sure that it was restored. And then another thing is when I used the sheet mask, I think it kind of armored my skin. So usually for daytime skincare, it's basically armoring your skin, making sure that um, you're protected uh, you're hydrated, that you lock in the moisture, that you wear sunscreen so that your skin will be protected. So it's like the armor for you to use skincare for the daytime. So for me, I felt like when I use my sheet mask for the daytime, my skin felt like armored in a way so that um, whatever stimuli or whatever like came into my life or my skin throughout the whole day, my skin felt more protected. If you have any other challenges for Ani to take on, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also I will leave all the links for the products that I've used today in the description below. Thank you guys so much. And I do want to challenge you. I love you guys and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, my